Da. Don't let them leave. Tauriel, you cannot hunt 30 orcs on your own. But I'm not on my own. You knew I would come. The king is angry, Tauriel. For 600 years, my father has protected you, favored you. You defied his orders. You betrayed his trust. The king has never let orc field from our lands. Yet he would let this orc pack cross our borders and kill our prisoners. It is not our fight. It is our fight. It will not end here. With every victory, this evil will grow. If your father has his way, we will do nothing. We will hide within our walls, live our lives away from the light, and let darkness descend. Are we not part of this world? Tell me, Melon, when did we let evil become stronger than us? Hello, Bard. Where you after? There was a tapestry. An old one. Where's it gone? What tapestry are you talking about? This one. They were dwarves, I tell you. Appeared out of nowhere. Full beards, fierce eyes. I've never seen the like. What are dwarves doing in these parts? It's the prophecy. The prophecy? The prophecy of Durin's folk. Prophecy. Prophecy. The old chains will come true. Vast hopes of treasure. Can it really be true? Has the Lord of Silver Fountains returned? The Lord of Silver Fountains? The King of Carven Stone? The King beneath the mountain? Shall come into his own. And the bell shall ring in gladness at the Mountain King's return. But all shall fail in sadness. And the lake will shine and burn. Da! I tried to stop them. How long have they been gone? Keep it down. As soon as we have the weapons, we make straight for the mountain. Go, go, go. Next. You're right. I can manage. Let's just get out of it. Run! Get out! Get out! Call them sealing weapons, sire. Ah, enemies of the state, eh? A desperate bunch of mercenaries, if ever there was, sire. Hold your tongue. You do not know to whom you speak. This is no common criminal. This is Thorin, son of Thrain, son of Thrall. We are the dwarves of Elahor. We have come to reclaim our homeland. I remember this town in the great days of old. Fleets of boats lay at harbor, filled with silks and fine gems. This was no forsaken town on a lake. This was the center of all trade in the north. I would see those days return. I would relight the great forges of the dwarves and send wealth and riches flowing once more from the halls of Erebor. What you will bring upon us? Dragon fire and ruin. If you waken that beast, it will destroy us all. You can listen to this naysayer, but I promise you this. If we succeed, all will share in the wealth of the mountain. <laughs> you will have enough gold to rebuild Eskaroth ten times over! Listen to me! You must listen! Have you forgotten what happened to Dale? Have you forgotten those who died in the firestorm? And for what purpose? The blind ambition of a mountain king. So riven by greed, he could not see beyond his own desire! No! No! We must not, any of us, be too quick to lay blame. Let us not forget that it was Gillian, Lord of Dale, your ancestor, who failed to kill the beast. <laughs> it's true, sire. We all know the story. 
Arrow after arrow he shot. Each one missing its mark. You have no right. No right to enter that mountain. I have the only right. I speak to the master of the men of the lake. Will you see the prophecy fulfilled? Will you share in the great wealth of our people? What say you? I say unto you. Welcome! Welcome, Uncle!